The Afghan culture has been around for over two millennia, tracing back to at least the time of the Achmanid Empire in 500 BCE. It is mostly a nomadic and tribal society, with different regions of the country having their own traditions, reflecting the multicultural and multilingual character of the nation. In the southern and eastern region the people live according to the Pashtun culture by following Pashtunli, which is an ancient way of life that is still preserved. The remainder of the country is culturally Persian. Some non-Pashtuns who live in proximity with Pashtuns have adopted Pashtunli in a process called Pashtunization, or Afghanization, while some Pashtuns have been Persianized. Millions of Afghans who have been living in Pakistan and Iran over the last 30 years have been influenced by the cultures of those neighboring nations. Afghans display pride in their culture, nation, ancestry, and above all, their religion and independence. Like other Highlanders, they are regarded with mingled apprehension and condescension, for their high regard for personal honor, for their tribe loyalty and for their readiness to use force to settle disputes. As tribal warfare and internecine feuding has been one of their chief occupations since time immemorial, this individualistic trait has made it difficult for foreigners to conquer them. Tony Heathcote considers the tribal system to be the best way of organizing large groups of people in a country that is geographically difficult, and in a society that, from a materialistic point of view, has an uncomplicated lifestyle. There are an estimated 60 major Pashtun tribes and the Afghan nomads are estimated at about 2 to 3 million. The nation has a complex history that has survived either in its current cultures or in the form of various languages and the monuments. However, many of its historic monuments have been damaged in recent wars. The two famous Buddhas of Bamiyan were destroyed by the Taliban, who regarded them as idolatrous. Despite that, archaeologists are still finding Buddhist relics in different parts of the country some of them dating back to the second century. This indicates that Buddhism was widespread in Afghanistan. Other historical places include the cities of Herat, Kandahar, Ghazni, mazar i sharif and Zarang. The minaret of Jam in the Hari River Valley is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. A cloak reputedly worn by Islam's Prophet Muhammad is kept inside the shrine of the cloak in Kandahar a city founded by Alexander and the first capital of Afghanistan. The citadel of Alexander in the western city of Herat has been renovated in recent years and is a popular attraction for tourists. In the north of the country is the shrine of Hazrat Ali, believed by many to be the location where Ali was buried. The Afghan Ministry of Information and Culture is renovating 42 historic sites in Ghazni until 2013 when the province will be declared as the capital of Islamic civilization. The National Museum of Afghanistan is located in Kabul. Although literacy is low, classic Persian and Pashto poetry plays an important role in the Afghan culture. Poetry has always been one of the major educational pillars in the region, to the level that it has integrated itself into culture. Some notable poets include Rumi, Rabia Borkai, Sanai, Jami, Gushal Khan Katak, Rahman Baba, Khalilullah Khalilai, and Parween Pazwak.